Hello everyone, and thank you for rejoining me here. I'm Elder Mocha Lover, and we are doing pretty well with New Canaan, I would say, so far. It's only September 13th, 2276, but right now, let us interact with more with the followers and ask them to help our settlements. A very good thing. It's good to help your neighbor, even though they might require some payment of some sort, but that's okay. So, uh, let's talk about a few things. First of all, let's let time go on, but I asked you guys yesterday, what should our intelligence agency name be? I asked you guys that at the end of yesterday's episode. There goes the Royal and the Apostles. Oh, let's get with giggles. Let's go ahead and do that. So, you guys came up with some good names, but what I thought would be really just, just perfect, I think, for this one. Would, uh, I will show you what the name is, but though, as soon as the intelligence agency is formed. But, I also asked you guys yesterday, what should we use? Would Christ grill the sinners away? Or would he make them explode? Well, there's support for both sides, but there was pretty much double the amount of support for frag grenades. Holy hand grenades. They just vaporize enemies. Irredeemables, as some might say. But that was the most selected uh, dynamite upgrade there was. So that was actually really cool. So we shall go with dynamites, upgrade the frag grenades, but, okay, so eventually, I'm gonna just be honest here, uh, and this is the name of the agency called the Christians in Action, a C-I-A. And I chose this little emblem just because it looks like a sword. I mean, the sword of Christ, why not? I mean, we're shooting for Jesus, but still, that's okay. We could be gunning for Jesus as well. But sometimes, shooting, gunning, we all know what's really gonna what's really gonna happen. But anyways, like I was trying to say before I interrupted myself, there's gonna be a third campaign here with the uh, New Canaanites, or New Canaan. Just because if you win the war against the White Legs, you're basically forced to go down this path. But if you see, there's an entire another path down here. So basically, we're gonna have New Canaan and Glory this time. Next time, which will be months from the time of this recording, at minimum a few months, we will eventually do Canaan and Flames, so that way we can really go really Crusader. Because in this campaign, we're not going to go too Crusader. We're still going to Crusade a little bit, but we're not going to be as harsh as we could be. Especially since we're not going to get Joshua Graham this time. I've heard, though, from the comments from yesterday's video, that you can get as much Decadence as you'd possibly like, because it'll go away if you lose New Canaan. So for now, I want to minimize Decadence for now, just because we're not going to lose. Or just, I hope we're not going to lose. I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll see what happens. Uh, regardless, so there will be a total of three campaigns, at least in my mind, at least three, uh, for New Canaan. I've done one in the past before this focus tree was updated. I've done, I'm doing one right now, and another one will be later on when we actually get Joshua Graham to help lead us against uh, evildoers, we'll say. Evildoers, yes, evildoers. All right, so right now we can assist the tribes. We must contain the White Legs threat currently. We get a lot of time keeping refugees into our lands. Send weapon shipments for Tall Walker, Zinta, Lone Tree. Ooh, I like the war support. Tar Walkers get more war support. Let's go send them some stuff first. Whilst we have started arming our troops fairly well, the tribes that stand in the White Legs path towards us do not have much abundance of equipment. If we send them some weapons, we should be able to slow down the White Legs somewhat. And Mojave Raiders clear on the Fiends. There's so much bloodshed in the wastes. It is quite sad. Quite sad. But you know what? With enough bloodshed, we can make sure that there will be no more bloodshed. Oh! Okay! That's a little earlier than I thought that would happen. Um, we probably don't need to worry about the guys up top. Uh, just go ahead and go against these guys for now. We definitely don't have enough divisions yet. Can I... I can't send divisions. I can't send volunteers. Just because that is... Ooh, well, we can get a spy. Isaiah Custer? Good, good, good. Because this goes provide direct assistance. That is not good. Hmm. Okay, why did you can't... Just because I move my divisions off doesn't mean you have to leave, but trade or trouble. Trade has been a lifeline for the Canaanites over the last century. In the early days of the settlement, caravans brought enough goods for the faithful to survive and thrive, allowing the construction of much-needed new buildings and successful cultivation of surrounding lands. As New Canaan grew, so did its influence over the caravans that crisscrossed Utah. Mormon translators were high in demand to strike deals between tribes and tr raiders, and Mormon peacekeepers ensured the roads of Utah remained free from raiders. However, over the past decade, our relationships with many of the caravans companies that operate in our lands have deteriorated. They claim the tariffs we're placing on them are too excessive, and they're taking far too large a cut in the deal we helped strike. Sure, we may be doing this, but this is is this not the price that they should be paying for a service? Uh, lose stability, get more caps. Okay, then. Oh, please hold on to our walkers, for the love of God. For the love of Christ, please hold on. And the scavengers triumph. Nice. Even though we're not going to be using scavengers too much, or... We're not going to be using vehicles too much, I mean. Alright, new general. Felix. 
Oh, he's a bruiser. He's a big old bruiser, huh? Well, that's okay with me, as long as he's okay. Night, land it. Night, night, track, um, I'll supply max entrenchment. I might go with more entrenchment right now. Recon when entrenched. So he's really good on defense. Let's go with... Well, he's going... This person's going to be attacking a lot, so get just more recon for now. And let land out attack. I think, that, I think that'd be okay. Let's go and do that. Come over there. That'd be good. Thank you. Got plenty of political power for now. We could get get rid of more caps. Oh, uh, that's a little, just slightly ahead of time. Let's grab some more of that. That'd be nice for now. I'm trying to get prepared defenses. Yeah. Nephi. New Nephi. Well, the Tower Walker's holding out somewhat for now, which is okay. But we'll see what happens. Ooh, we still mobilizing. Nice. Oh, we have Wasteland Militia, so that's very, very good. This breaks my heart, seeing it like this. Uh, we could do that. Resource production's always nice. I, I, I feel so limited, man. I feel so limited. Actually, welcome to Timekeepers. Defense, max entrenchment. Um, I think I know what we might be doing soon. I kind of like that. Let's grab some of that, too, because we need stuff for our gliders. We're going to need some more energy cells, because we have zero. Age declared war on them. That's fine. Come on, get the focus done. Oh, we can give them... We can give them scrap. I should have given them war support. Oh, oh that uh, pains me to see. Why? Why must you hurt our potential allies like that? And quarterly income comes in soon. That's good. Plans are looking very nice. We can get some upgrades to our plane attackers. We might as well do that first. And they're actually expanding a little bit into White Lakes territory, so... Oh, you guys were cut off. That is sad. All right, so since we're here... Oh, send weapon shipments. Let's preach the Holy War just in case we might be able to help them. Maybe, maybe not. Our Mormon mission and many of the White Legs pray give us significant influence in the area. If we begin preaching a more militant philosophy, we may be able to inspire war support in these nations. At least we get 5% war support. And we might help out these guys with a little, tiny bit of manpower. Just a tiny bit. We could buy more guns, but gun-wise, we're doing okay. Not great, but okay. Uh, how's support equipment, actually? Support equipment's looking pretty decent. Pretty decent. Water's looking pretty decent as well, so we don't really need to do too much with this stuff yet. I, I really want to do this. Yes, go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead. We're spending all of our caps. I know we are. Oh, no! Oh, we wanted to preach the Holy War. All we get is war support out of this now. That breaks my heart. Oh. Well. The White Legs are very, very aggressive. Incredibly aggressive. White Legs at the gate. And the Prophet foretold the Lord will snatch away their finery, the bangles and headbands and pit boys, the earrings and bracelets and radios, the headdresses and anklets and guns, and the perfume bottles and colas, the signet rings and nose rings, nose rings, the fine robes and the capes and golds, the purses and mirrors, the linen garments and tiaras and silk of the sheen. And instead of fragrance, there will be a stench. Instead of a sash, a rope. Instead of well-dressed hair, baldness. Fine clothing, instead becomes sackcloth. Instead of beauty, branding. Thus spoke Jeremiah Rigdon when the white legs reached New Canaan's borders. The gates of New Canaan will lament and mourn. Oh, barbarians at the gate. Well, I mean, war, getting more war support is actually no problem at all because that actually gives us more attack and defense, I think, on our core territory, so that's actually not bad. And we just got 10% more entrenchment speed and 12% more defense. That's good. We get some more hard attack, which might come in handy, might not. Oh, do we have. Mm, let's grab anti tank immediately. We, we might need that. Oh boy. Oh boy. I hope we don't get attacked in the north. I really hope we don't. So let's go for this campaign. So here's my deal. Like, we, we gotta, you know, fend off the White Legs. They're a menace. That needs to be taken out, right? My goal is to manually, eventually, hopefully, if we can't do this peacefully, take out everyone in Utah, form the state of Deseret, and then we'll puppet everyone else in the, in the wasteland. Oh, we, it, might not, it might not be a full wasteland conquest, but... We want to puppet all the others that are just outside of Utah. Necromancer's Army. Who are you? The Great Glowing One? Okay, that's his name. 25% compliance. Oh my gosh. Pro I gotta play that, that nation someday. Oh no. Cool. Oh my goodness. Focus on Sphere. New Reno join the NCR. Okay, well, they're looking pretty kind of thick there. Just a little thick. NCRs. Wait, do they have Klamath as well now? I guess they had new Klamath. Okay, cool. The she just looking real mighty thick. But happy 2277, my friends. This is going to be an interesting year to say the least. Hopefully we can dig in. Hopefully we can defend pretty well. Let's see. Lord's Teacher, not going to be good enough. Veteran, we could lose our political power for this. I do want to get rid of this. I do want to get rid of that. Because even now we still can't switch out of this. Like, we're stuck on the manpower level that we have. That's why I went down conventional warfare for 5% more population. We need that population. 
Peaceful missionary. Oh, we could get more stability. Preach holy war. Uh, yeah, that's not good. I could eventually sell more guns, but we're probably going to need to hold on to them, to be honest with you. Let's get... Uh, yeah, we're going to need more soldiers. Preach holy war. Uh, well, we can provide direct assistance, but at this point, I think it's really worth it. Let's prepare for war for more arms workshops, and we can fund the military, which is awesome. But Moses said to, son, to the sons of Gad, Gad, and to the sons of Reuben, Shall your brothers go to war while you yourselves sit here? Maybe. Maybe. Depending on how we're feeling. Now, the ultimate thing that I am worried about is if the 80s join the White Legs. That is my worry. And save the Tower Rockers, that's not good. Um, because if that happens, we're pretty much dead. I, we probably can't do very much about that. Drawing a line... Uh-oh. What, uh... What is that from? Drawing a line in the sand. Oh! Okay, the White Legs have come far enough. They must advance no further. It's just time to draw our line in the sand. It's going to triumph. Great! Old world planning, that is not really helpful. Fortify the south. Actually, that would be really good. Uh, you get a couple more forts. That's pretty nice. Bring the word of the White Legs. Build workshops for the tribes. Oh, man. I still want to come over here so we can get uh, that one advisor. It gives us more defense. That'd be really good. And we also have to bargain with traders. Silver-tongued and pious Daniel offers to help us negotiate with Utah traders. Now... Let's see, basic generators, nice, nice. Get more construction speed right now. We could get more output, but really it's just construction speed that we need to build, 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 build. All right, let's see. Now, the 80s, we already checked this war for the gra- Who has the grasslands? Ah, uh, special forces, war for oh, okay, that seems a little different than what I expect, but whatever, that's okay. Uh, do we have any planes yet? No, we don't, and that's big sadness. Alright, so they're enslaving the tar walkers. Handle the... Uh, hmm. Handle the 80s. Okay, highway to hell. Ashes to ashes, salt to salt. We are within 60 days, probably, of them. Go yep, within 60 days, maybe. They might betray the 80s. That would be great. I'm glad we just got anti-tank, but we need planes as well. This is not going to go well. So let's go ahead and grab... We could grab this, but it's a little bit ahead of time for us right now. Uh, reinforce rate. Alright, since we're here, I'm going to go ahead and help out our... Defenses. By defenses, I mean just giving me more, like, division organization. I think that'd be really helpful. Get the marm workshops going. We need dogs. We need anti-tank. Do that. Share the wealth. Share the wealth. There we go. Now, see, now we have no energy because we want to make planes. And we're getting dynamite, which will definitely help us out. Alright, so, okay, what's going on? Okay, good. Welcoming other people in. Okay, so we got some more time. We got some more time. Oh, they went down here. Dem democracy. Mormon conversions. Man, if they... Do they want to become, like, a puppet of, like... Do they want to become Mormons or something? Like, we're totally okay with them if they want to become Mormons. Like, that's totally cool with me. They kill everyone around us, but they join us. Cool. End our isolation. We thought we could stay safe from the world, but the world is clearly out to get us. It's time to reduce civilian consumption somewhat and prepare for war. That would be good, because we need more factories so we can build more stuff up more quickly. We can only have eight that we could be using, but we're only, we're only using nine, which is big sadness. Big sadness. And don't mind me, I, I'm i just a little bit of a sinner. I know, I I believe, when I did, played as Mormons last time, or the New Canaanites, I always call them Mormons, just the New Canaanites, that they don't drink coffee, But so I might have a little bit of a sin in my hands right here, drinking a little bit of a, some really special coffee. So, uh, uh, I too am a sinner. I'll put it like that, there we go. Let time go on. Totally water my hands. Totally water. Then again, I think lying probably is a sin too. Ooh. So we've got chem companies. We've got recon. How much would it cost for us to put demo teams on? Too much. That's okay. That's going to be worth it. That much more soft attack. That by like two defense. Two and a half more breakthrough, which is good. Seven more. Seven and a half soft attack is not nothing to scoff at. That's not bad since we only have um, infantry for now. This looks really weird with the 80s, and they haven't taken over New Hammond yet. They've taken over Eastport of all locations, but not the other group yet. Very strange, very strange. Cowboy country's gone. Contact lost. Oh no, we must just send a rescue team. We found the expedition. Anti-armor tactics. Great. Now let's get some more, or less supply use for our entire army. Except for militia, which we don't really use militia. Which is good. Chief of the Navy. We could do Salt Lake travel, but there's really no point to do that. Over here, God's Warriors. Division attack. No, they're not a puppet of us. Not a puppet of us either. 
Lightweight metals are always nice to have. Monoplane fighters we could, but we're going to wait. Because we're going to grab some output. More, more output. Since we do have a deficit of something here now. Uh, drastic measures, we don't, I don't ever use that. That's kind of a waste. Oh, demo equipment's looking really bad now. Oh, that's part of it, just because we got another division. Great. And, uh, isolation. Fortify the sands. Or fortify the south. Oh, tax. Oh, increase decadence, tax the roads, guard the caravans, luxury goods. It's not bad. It's not great, but not bad. Preach to the caravans. I kind of like that. Funnel, trade to rural areas. I kind of like that, too. A lot of Titan keepers. Let's fortify the south just in case. With our lines drawn, we must be prepared to defend it to the last. Well, let's just be safe. I don't want to be sorry when we could be safe. Alright, and actually, let's take a look at this. I can't change out of this yet, which is fine. We have to do Never Fall In Again or Safeguard the Trade Routes. Actually, I'll show you where that is at in the focus tree right now. Let's see, it is down here, I think? Oh, no, maybe it's even further south. Yeah, here it is. That's how far down south we have to go before we can change our conscription level or... Um, Economy level, that's ridiculous. All the way down here, that's insane. Look at all the stuff we had to get through first to get down here. That's insane. And the other one, was it? Oh, actually, I can go to this one. Uh, just go and do that one. We can, okay, so we can change our economy law. We just can't change our military policy or conscription law. The other one is Never Fallen Again, which is probably around here somewhere. Never, oh, Pioneer Day. I've already read this once. If you'd like to read it, go, just go right ahead again. Maybe it's back up here. Never Fallen Again, Peace Through Arms. Rely on Tribals. Well, blessed be our ancestors. Oh, primitive radio, good. Let's see. Train. Oh, here it is. Never fallen again. That's all the way down here. That's insane. We can't raise cons conscription level until we either win or lose the war. That is maybe a bit extreme. Maybe. But we're going to scavenge again. This is why I'm really emphasizing uh, help having the followers of the apocalypse like influence and help out our places. Because we only get 14 people a month. That's not very much. But I'd rather have that than nothing. So, And we also get more immigrants or religious groups coming in every week. 15 more. Not much, but you know what? I'd rather have it than not have it. Uh, Factory-wise, 30. Good. Good, 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 good. And there goes two sons. Oh, uh, good. Now we have 15. Finally 15. It takes us into the fifth. Answer to on the rapids. Felix Griffin falls ill. Uh, who are you? Oh, yeah. Just in case, I'm going to throw you guys right... Here. So we have our defensive setup, which is a good, good thing. Now we could uh, build workshops for the tribals, but let's wait. I want to do b bargaining with traders. Uh, we can exploit our position along the waste trade routes to gain money to fund our new army. It is what Brigham Young would have wanted. And yes, I do let time go on as I'm reading the focuses just a little bit, just so we can push things ahead just a little bit more. You have up to 10 days before you lose progress on any focus, so it's totally okay within the first days to just let time go on. So if you didn't know that. That's why I do that. Totally, totally okay. Alright, we might want to start cutting down just a little bit somewhere here, maybe. Oh, we can't make any more spec ops, so that's okay. Uh, they're going to need recon, let's be real. They're going to need recon on them, things. You're going to need cam companies. I don't, I don't really care about armor that much. I don't really use these guys for armor, so. And you're going to need a general. Steven Hef. Oh, he's better on defense, that's not bad. Oh, wait, why did I promote him? Eh, I got the command backbar, who cares? Um... It's going to be a normal general, actually, so anything else is really kind of a waste. Any of this is a waste. Uh, go with Lifegiver. We can save our next slot for something else later on. It's fine. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put you under someone else, actually. I could promote the other guy, but whatever. Matthew Bates. He is CIA. Is this a message? CIA and built a destro... Hmm. Oh, I'm, I had to go with Inspirational. That, that gives you like 50% bonus, or half a percent bonus, so it's only 5% bonus to leader experience gain, beloved leader, less defense, more recovery rate, eh, it's not really that great. Smooth Doctor's pretty good though. Cool, let's come over here, and what can we grab? That's a little bit ahead of time, let's grab more output, why not? Output's always nice to have. And we're mobilizing a little bit more, Death Claws ate some of our team, maybe we should have given them guns instead. Yeah, vehicles are nice, maybe guns would have been better. Yeah. I'm going to put like two divisions here, maybe three or four, just because the A's might attack. I'm just, I just try to be, you know, proactive about our defense, which means we've got to get more defense, right? Defense are time decisions, quarterly income, that's fine, good, just give us more money, do that, help the settlements out. 18, not bad. 
Demand demilitarization. Are you insane, followers of the apocalypse? Are you nuts? Yes, they are, and that's okay. Because we love them when they're insane. Makes us feel good about ourselves, right? And you might as well go military academy training. Faster just for World Ghost Sounds. And just slightly more organization. Just slightly more, which is always helpful. Always helpful to get. As we bargain with traders. Now we can breach the caravans. And we get two more civilian workshops, which I kind of actually like. There's probably not much else we can really do here. Yeah, we might as well do that one. Bridge to the caravans because I don't want any more decadence for this campaign. We pay for our goods and treat caravanners square, which is almost all of what they care about. Perhaps some of them are open to the words of the Lord, though. Yes, maybe some of them will lend their ear over and we can preach to them. Actually, we might want to get rid of open to traders. That's that's some awesome construction speed. Don't get me wrong. Eh, I'm kind of okay, actually, right now. We love trading. Mercenary conscription, more division or like infantry recovery rate, more reinforcement rate, and more special forces capacity multiplier. Very good. Very, very good. Oh, we're building up stuff. Uh, keep building up civilian factories. We're not quite there yet where I think we can just focus on military buildings yet. We don't have enough energy, which actually we should probably focus on generators instead of military buildings. But we do need that thing for more anti-tank for now. Do that, do that. Spec Ops is more than fine. You only need really one on there. Do up to three. You know, go down to two. There you go. There you go. That'll be nice. Um, yeah, that'll be fine. Get up to two, maybe. Oh, we need doggos. You can put triplane attackers at the bottom. I love fighters in this in Old World Blues just because they can also do ground attack. It doesn't give you that much, but it any piece of ground attack always helps. And NCR Rangers... Everyone's joining the NCR. What the heck? Why is the NCR so popular now? The 80s are looking pretty normal. Yeah. What is this? No template for anti-tank rifles? Oh, well, there will be. Oh, there will be. And we're done mobilizing. 700, division, 700 manpower. That's not enough to fight the uh, white legs. That is a shnikes border. Oh my goodness, I'm glad I looked. Look at that. They had the 80s give up some of their land, which actually isn't terrible since we have a bigger border now to focus on, but uh, that means 80s probably won't join them, maybe? The plunder of Eastport. Ban oh, they banned drugs, that's, that's nice. That's good for them. And it's salt upon the earth. Okay, so how strong are they becoming? We gotta keep an eye on them. 3,000 manpower, that's not bad. That's not bad. We can deal with that. Up to 45 divisions, eh, that's not bad for us. It's not too bad, I guess. Uh, funnel, trade to rural areas. Due to poor infrastructure, much of Utah is too difficult for caravanners to travel to. They'd lose more money than they'd ever earn going there. But we can clear up some of the old roads and perhaps build some new ones to remedy that. We get a total of four new infrastructure in two different locations. So I think three divisions will be enough here. We gotta build another army up top really defend along this path here. I think that'd be for the best. The scavengers found something better in our hands than our enemies. Air accident chances, night operations. Uh it's kind of worthless, but whatever. You never know what you might find. More power stations, good. Alright, so we built up that civilian factory very quickly. Get some more get a generator. After that, get another generator. That'll be good. We'll we'll build this stuff up and then we'll maybe build another civilian factory up. Bone Dancers Camel Station. Good, scavenge with vehicles, go right ahead, sell some updated equipment, eh, let's get military training, good, even more defense. Crowd control gear, oh, oh, I did say we want to be shooting for Christ, but, a 45 auto pistol, or basic laser weaponry, I think we're, mm, I don't know, it seems a little bit more iconic than a basic laser weapon, a 45 auto SMG, I mean, you should have seen some of the thumbnails I was making, like with Jesus Christ with guns, like, I really wanted to do that, but, you know, if there's enough support, I can show you like a little thumbnail. It's not too much. It's just, a, it's just a little different than the thumbnail currently for this video and this campaign's video. With Jesus holding a gun, that's all it is. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. It's what Christ would have wanted, you know. Cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely have to choose play another campaign of, of the new Canaanites because... There's a whole nother path that I've yet to explore. Uh, do we... We really don't need more water. Do we? Oh, well, hold on. We might need some more water. Go ahead and, you know, hire a follower. Agricultural experts. That'd be a good thing. Oh, look at that. Manpower? Didn't need that, right? Didn't need it. All right, so this is for the 80s, just in case they get a little too handsy with us. I am trying to be prepared. We're going to need, honestly need more divisions than what we have currently on, along this line, but whatever. So that's all done. That's nice. 
We could build workshops. Let's go do this one. A lot of time to keep our refugees into our lands. The pagans to the south have run out of time. Perhaps we can welcome them into our homes. They lose manpower down there. We get all that manpower back up. North. Excuse me. I wanted to burp, apparently. Hmm. Motorize. We don't believe in that. Chems. Good stuff. Gooder stuff. Gooder stuff. Better stuff. Cool. Uh, and we're going to need a general here. How much political power do we get? We get 1.16 a day. That's not much, actually. Radio. Got crowd control. This stuff can kind of wait. Uh, since we're not going to slash this time, we're going to go with 45 auto. That just that just makes me feel like such an American, and I love it. Ah, oh, crowd control, yes. Go ahead and put you at the top right there. Scam just found... Get out of my office. Seriously, man. Seriously. S send out manual prospectors. I even give you vehicles at that time. Actually, can we go to war with someone? Can we manually justify? Yes, we can. We can actually go to war with them right now if we wanted to. We might be able to go to war with these guys up here, too. Hmm. It is part of Utah. Oh, wait, we can't. We actually can't go to war. Okay. I was like, hmm. Early wars? Civilian draft, unfortunately, yes. But that's why I went with the upgrades here, just to offset that. So we still get a plus three division organization than if we were to take that at all. This is disappointing. Oh, why? Actually, can I go to war with you guys? Nope, I can't go to war with anyone. We are stuck. Oh, I hate decadence. Oh, decadence sucks. Only, uh, see, we just got our weekly manpower. That's nice. Weekly manpower is good. <sighs> Big disappointment. Anything else? Guns? Dismantle. I wish we could send out, like, multiple teams to procure things. But we'll see what happens when Old World Blues 3.0 comes out someday. Barden ha battle Hardened Soldiers, Troll Warm, Bone Dancers. This gives you even more organization. Better starting level letter. I can't speak right now. My apologies. Even more command power. You know what? We're going to lose a little bit of political power, but Military Academy Officers, we might as well, right? Advanced Generators, good. Grab that for even slightly more population. More output. Guys, now we're looking pretty good, actually. So, because we did that, let's go to guys. This guy's going to cost us quite a bit, but that's okay. 25, that's not bad. Alfred Sickles, level 2 and level 3, not bad. Alfred, what are you doing? Survivalist, probably. Ooh, Gunslinger. I'm going to go with. Recon could be pretty good. Defense could be pretty good. Let's go with Gunslinger just in case. And Recon. Nice. And we did that, so let's come down here. You know, I'd love to welcome the Timekeepers for more decadence, but. We're gonna reject the idolaters. Go out and cry to the gods you've chosen. Let them save you when you are in trouble. Only one hex from the timekeepers will be available as an advisor. The others naively, naively refuse to convert. Uh, we gave you shelter and you say no. Get some pioneer kits because that's a little bit updated for us. Look at that manpower. I love getting that weekly plus 15. It doesn't seem like much, but in Old World Blues, it could probably make a huge difference. It could probably make a massive difference actually since we have riders. And we're slowly making more dogs at the same time. Let's go throw them on. That's fine. That's more than fine. So, I know with all this extra time that we are spending, not at war... Oh my gosh. That's a lot of guys. <laughs> that is a lot of guys. Holy cow. How much... Uh, we have minus three. That's not bad. <sighs> Do we have any forts around here? We have some around there, but... Mm, you know what? Go ahead and build these up just in case. There you go. Uh, there you go. Finish that. A couple more military factories first. That'll be good. This way we're really ready for any sort of conflict. You guys are over there too, just in case. Got three. Because you don't ever forget this hole. This hole, you can't put a front line or against it, but you can like do that, which is really kind of stupid, but whatever. It is what it is. Are you... Okay, you're not training, but now you are. Okay. Ages. Oh, there goes New Hammond. Good. Oh, you... come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Go to war with me. And we're all getting more daily armor XP, which is nice. Ah, oh, they found something. Okay, an old world political guide. More political power. And things are just slightly cheaper to get. All major businesses. Uh, automatic pistols. I love automatics. Ooh, what do we want? Ah. Uh, yes, the holy hand grenades. Hmm. For this campaign... Yeah, I'm thinking we're still going to choose ballistics. We're doing conventional stuff. I think it just makes sense. If we're going to stay conventional... We might as well choose ballistics. It's, con it's a conventional weapon type to use, or ammo type. So here, quality of quantity, that doesn't really help us out that much right now. We're not mobilizing. Can send volunteers, build workshops for the travels. We might as well. The tribes we preach in are woefully unprepared for to defend themselves. Providing them the means to produce more weapons will help offset, offset the cost somewhat. <sighs> Alright, so we get some more money soon. That's good. Scavenge with vehicles. Hopefully you find something. Technology. 
Um, since we have so much political power, we might as well. Overall radar systems gone, support equipment. Uh, support equipment we're doing more than fine on, right? We got 400 some. I'm not too worried about that. Another division. Great. And if I need to, I can shift that, these soldiers over here down south. If needed, which we're probably going to need. Let's get another military factory made. Minus five. That is not bueno. Can we get more water? Ah, Pioneer to Blessed be our ancestors. Even more stability and political power. Very good. Very, very good riders. Let's see. We have no... Oh, we do have some occupied territories. Why am I using Spec Ops to do that? Caravan guards. Good. That will be delightful. Uh, you guys are hanging out. Hey, another Spec Ops division. Alright, so I think we have enough for now. Stop making them. Back out to workshops. Uh, well, maybe we can continue making them. Hmm. We don't have... But I need to save a map out right now. Because even though we we'll get 5% more... 5% can go by quickly. But let's do infiltration tactics for more recon. Only 0.5 for the leg infantry, but that's okay. More soft attack, more hard attack, and infiltration assault, which is a very, very good thing to get. Uh, a 200 support. Uh, we're gonna get that later. Pioneer kits, great. Uh, plane stuff. Yeah, get monoplanes, that'd be nice. Nice. I'm not sure how much of a boost that really is, but it looks like it helps. The military society, that's never really worth taking. Uh oh, here we go. So, the White Legs are just fighting against us. The 80s have finished the war against New Hammond. Optimism of the youth. They're going to go towards someone else. Ashes to ashes. Salt to salt. Good lord, I hope we don't die. I know it's not a very good prayer, but, you know, it is what it is. Do we have our forts ready to go? Sort of. This tile is going to get smashed to bits. Um, if that's the case, you guys stop training. I'm going to go ahead and put you guys, like, here-ish. Just so that they, these guys can move around quickly if needed. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Build workshops for the tribes? Good. I'm not sure that's going to really help them that much, but that's okay. <sighs> provide direct assistance. There's really nothing else we can do except these two, so we're going to provide direct assistance. By loosening our religious doctrines just, just slightly, we can allow young volunteers to fight for the Lord in opposition to the White Legs. Yes. Yes. Gotta hope we're ready. We can't change this. Thank goodness we're getting more... Actually, we are mobilizing. So that's good. Scavengers triumph, finally. A mighty step into the future. Infantry technology? Well, that could be worse. Ah, ooh. Say, ooh, what is this? Welcome to timekeepers. Reject the idolaters. Huh. Or gifted tracker. More people support. Less consumer goods. Oh, I wanted this one. Welcome to timekeepers. Oh. Oh, we had to choose that one. That sucks. That really sucks. Hmm. No, well, that's the case. I mean, this guy still isn't bad. Lots of supply consumption is always good to have, but... Meh. That's planning speed. Planning speed won't help you on defense, though. N not much any of, any of this is going to help us on defense. You know what? We've got outpost stuff. Air base infrastructure. Outpost, probably. Let's choose this one. Why not? Canoes, APCs, cars. We're not using those right now. You know what? Since we got them, we might as well use them, right? Ah, the holy hand grenades. A little bit ahead of time. Go ahead and grab more recon. Good. Oh god, we need even more energy now. Oh my goodness. We'll keep building stuff up. You know what? Do that first. Put you at the bottom. We need to build these. Yes. Build, build, build. They're not much. Oh my goodness. These are some thick enemies. Stop training. There you go. You're gonna need that. Dig in, boys. Dig in. Oh man. Six divisions versus all these guys. Yeah. I just don't know if these guys will actually be able to hold out right here. I mean, we could always adjust it, go down to three areas here, but... Mm, what are the 80s up to? I hope that the 80s do end up fighting the, the White Legs. That is really, really important for us if that happens. That should happen. Let's hope it happens. It shouldn't happen. We'll see what happens. Right now we're getting how many months? 19? 20% more is... 15? 20% more. That went minus. 16? Oh, shnikes. Oh, crud. Oh, boy. This is not looking good. Please defend as best as you can. You guys come down here. You know, screw it. You guys don't need to be up there. Oh, crud. He knows. This is a lot of dudes. Not gonna lie. Hold up for now. Um, Do we have any planes yet? Oh, we might. Oh, we actually might. Obviously, they're going to all actually get all destroyed by the time uh, we really, really, really need them. But that's okay. 
and we don't we won't have that much energy cells for a while but really the goal is to keep them down beat these guys back as best we can the war for heaven even after jeremiah's fiery warning few truly believe the white legs would be able to be as bold as to launch an open attack even fewer can believe the brutality they're exhibiting in the settlements they capture those of the faithful are executed horrifically whilst children are being sold into slavery all under our watch truly the white legs are a terrifying foe and one we seem ill-prepared to face all of our local sheriffs have been mobilized and well paired with battalions of faithful from neighboring tribes but the question remains will this be enough the wall for heaven has been unlocked Either we lose, or we shall be defeated. But even if we are defeated, we shall come back. We're stronger and more powerful than before. Yeah, you are nuts if you think I'm going to demobilize in a time of war, man. You are nuts. Conflicted. Mm. Good. Get him in there. We're holding out so far. Not bad, not bad. With these three divisions here, we can probably hold out here as well. Don't lose. Mojave Raiders, good. You can't lose there, like... There is no choice. Like, I'd rather have you guys die here than anything else. Oh, crap. Now that they found my hole. Well, that sounds really weird to say out of context. But, hmm. But at least we're, we're on defense. That is good, actually, that we're on defense. Oh, good, 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 good. Which one is this? It, it doesn't matter. Yep. If that happens again, spawn there next time. All right. If anything, you guys got to hold, hold, hold. We just don't have the numbers to do anything yet. Do we have air superiority here? We do. We're actually doing a little bit of air damage. Or ground ground support. Oh, God. Oh, they broke through. Oh, it's so not good. So not good. Hold, hold. Hold your butts together. Come on. You got cheeks. Hold them. So I'm happy you guys this way to help defend right there. As long as they're not moving through here just yet. That's good. Uh, you guys. Yeah, go right there. That's fine. Uh, I need you to come here. I need you to come here, actually. Oh, crap. They're attacking us like crazy. Provide direct assistance. So that's not going to help us. Send arms to the tribes. Uh, we could do that. We could mobilize actually a little bit faster. Quality, quality over quantity. We need men no matter how well trained. Oh, crap. We're going to lose a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're, oh, we're being forced back. That's not good. Oh, crap. That's not good. We got to, we're going to have to retreat. Uh, but you know what? I think this video has gone on long enough. If you enjoyed today's episode... Consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we are going to grind out the white legs and hopefully not lose their homeland. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!